Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to download hotfixes and security patches for Windows 10 in order to install them and slipstream them inside a Windows 10 ISO. First thing we're going to have to do is download the software required. So open up your browser, in my case this is Opera, and go to download.wsusoffline.net. I'll put the link below the description. Once you're there, you can click on the version under here, it says most recent version and it will download. If you go over to your downloads folder and you can see that it's been downloaded you would right click this and select extract here or extract to WSUS 1092. I've already downloaded it and extracted it here you can see it's down here so go inside that folder it creates a folder inside it called WSUS offline so select that too and once you're in there Select update generator.exe and this is where we would select what we actually required it to download. So in my case I want it to download the Windows 10, x86 and x64. That's the 64 bit or the 32 bit version of Windows 10. But as you can see it also supports Windows 7, Server 2008, Server 2012, Windows 8 and Server 2012 R2. You can select to verify your downloads to include the C++ runtimes and .NET framework as required, Microsoft Security Essentials, Windows Defender definitions so that it keeps your anti-spyware up to date. You can select to just use security updates only instead of quality rollups that would download the individual KBs rather than the ones that Microsoft has rolled together and include service packs. It gives you the option to create an ISO and including one for just the x86 cross-platform edition and to create USB media. Now at the moment I'm just going to leave these settings as default apart from obviously selecting the Windows 10 x64 and x86 and then I'm going to click start. As you can see the DOS box opens up and it begins downloading these files. This can take some time so I will speed through this and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so as you can see, that says download, image creation, copy successful, and would I like to check the log file for possible warnings now? I'm just going to say no. I can exit out of that for now. And what it actually does is under client, as you can see where I actually downloaded it, my WSUS offline folder, under client, you now have W10, and then here's all the Windows 10 updates and W10X64, which is all the Windows 10 64-bit updates. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.